Jesus is coming back, and it's sooner than we think. About six weeks ago, in November 2020, I had a dream of the rapture, and here is that story. So I had a dream of the rapture, and it was about six weeks ago. It was the end of November 2020, and it was pretty profound. Um, it was very quick, but it was a God dream for sure. Um, you know, <laughs> and there was no hidden meaning. It was pretty darn clear. Um, the dream seemed uh, kind of like lit in a sort of way. If you've had a God dream where you know the Lord's speaking to you, um, it, it, it's kind of a different type of feel, right? You know in your heart that it's a God dream. Um, it seems lighter, brighter. There, there's an understanding, right? And um, so anyway, in the dream, I'm in the yard with my wife and my kids, and they're all looking uh, this way, and they're hanging out, and they're doing something, and I am totally turned this way, and uh, I was I was turned towards the east, um, and all of a sudden, in the middle of the sky, uh, is this bright light, and it's almost like the scripture says, the curtain in the temple being torn in two. Because this little bright light started as a sliver and grew and grew and grew. And the next thing I know, it's like God is like peeling open the sky. He's rending the heavens. And the rip goes from like small to like from horizon to as far as the eye can see. And I was in shock. I was just like, number one, I was like, oh my gosh, that's Jesus. And there's like this blinding light and I couldn't see anything else. And then it started to freak me out because uh, like everybody in the world would have been able to see it. And, and it was so crazy and unreal. And I, and then I started thinking, oh my God, how big is God? How big is God? If this is going from, from the horizon to where I can't even see, like, Everything is just opening up and this bright light is rushing in. I mean, it was absolutely insane. But but then my thought was, because I believe Jesus is coming back, y'all. We need to repent and get right with God. I don't know where you are, but it is time to get serious in your pursuit of the Lord. And, uh, you know, scholars have all these ideas that he's coming back in the next 50 years, 20 years. Some people say you know, by 2028, who knows? But rest assured, we're in the last days. So, you know, I, 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 I believe he's coming back in our generation. I believe he's coming uh, back sooner than later. Uh, but in the dream, I, I, I was trying to grab my wife, grab her by the shoulder and turn her around to be facing this way. And I kept going, honey, Jesus is coming back. He's here. He's here. It's, it's way too soon. It's way too soon. Like everybody said, it was way out here. Everybody said that it was, and even I, in my own mind, like in my spirit, I was like, I really thought he was going to come like way down the road. I can't believe he's coming now. He's coming now. And, and in my spirit, I kept going, wow, it's way too soon. I never thought he'd arrive this early. And, um, you know, as I'm saying this, the, the scripture comes to mind, you know, uh, what are we going to be doing when Jesus returns? You know, are we going to be those good servants who are keeping watch? Who have prepared their hearts? Are we going to be like the five wise virgins who have been gathering oil, who have been sharing God's love, who have been preaching the truth and love, which includes the gospel of repentance? Because Jesus said, everywhere you go, preach, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know, Sometimes, and I do it sometimes too, you know, we read the Bible and we eat it like a little kid eating trail mix. You know, we're picking out all the, the chocolate uh, parts and we're like, ooh, you know, God is love. <laughs> and we think, oh, I can do what I want. And, um, you know, his plans for me are good. And all of that's true. But the Bible says, consider the love and the severity of God. You know, his rod... And his staff, they comfort me. You know, his staff, as he puts it out and the sheep are passing under and he counts us as his uh, children. And, you know, he leads us and guides us. But there's also the rod of correction. So we got to, we got to, 
you know, take all the scriptures and we got to hold them together and believe uh, the full gospel, the whole gospel, which includes repentance. Anyway, I want to be the faithful servant. I want to be the one ready when Jesus is coming back. Whether it's in a big capacity or even a small capacity. Maybe it's just ministering to my neighbor or at the people uh, people at work. You know, sharing the truth in love. Love God, love people, share Jesus. Anyway, I don't have it all figured out. Uh, by no means. I was, I was like shocked and stunned by the dream and uh and it ruined me for a couple days i'm like what you know what does this mean and and you know in my in my own life i'm like okay what do i need to repent of you know how do i need to get right with god it, like god search my heart give me a clean heart david Prince. god give me a clean heart and uh renew a right spirit within me you know return uh to me the joy of my salvation anyway i can't wait for him to come back i love jesus i can't wait uh to see him face to face um, I hope he'll let me give him a big old hug <laughs> as soon as we get to heaven. But I, I'm telling you, he's coming back soon. He's coming back soon. So do me a favor, share this message. Get the message out there. Not only that, Google second coming rapture dreams. I'm not the only one on the planet having these dreams. People all over the planet are having dreams of the rapture of the second coming. And they're posting them on YouTube. God always confirms his word by two or three witnesses. So this is serious business. If everybody across the globe is having dreams that he's coming back, rest assured, <laughs> he, he's telling his children to get right. He's like, all right, you know, get ready, get ready. Well, I want to pray a blessing on uh, you and your uh, family, you, your household, your loved ones, uh, that they would come into the kingdom of God, that they would find the truth, that they would know the uh the uh, love of God, um, and that they would fall in love with Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is uh, Will Morton at the uh, Jumpstart Project. Uh, take care. Goodbye, and God bless.